An alias is an alternate name you can give to a field to make it easier to read in query results. There are two methods for creating an alias for a field in the query designer. We have a query emp details which returns the employee's first name and last name from employee's table. You can see the field name for first name as f name and for last name as l name. Open the query in design view. Right click on the query tab and select design view from the menu. Method 1. Preface the field with the text you would like to see as the field name followed by a colon. For example, type first name colon before f name. Method 2. Right click the field name L name and select properties. The property sheet for field properties appears. In this dialog box, enter the desired alias in the caption input. For example, last name. Run the query. The column names in the result set are named using the aliases. If you use the field properties dialog box to define your alias, there will be no clear indication in either the query's design view or SQL string that you are using an alias. Click on view and select SQL view. The SQL string shows an alias for F name. It does not indicate that L name has an alias. This may confuse people using your queries. For this reason, it's generally better to use the first method to define an alias. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.